All right. So California becomes the first state to require gender neutral toy aisles. And I think this is a good segue from what I was talking about on the last one with the Dave Chappelle. So California becomes the first state to require gender neutral toy aisles at large retail stores. Uh, no thanks. So I read both of these articles. And to be quite honest with you, I have a daughter and I've never considered I've never really looked at the aisles as gender aisles. Now I get it. Some aisles are completely pink. Some aisles are completely blue, but I have never excluded my daughter from any of the aisles and any parent who does that, right? Any parent who does that, I think it's, uh, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. Now, granted, I get it. You don't want boys to play with dolls and you may not want your daughters to play with cars or whatever. I don't know. Cause you know, Legos are both girl and boys and they have different kinds. So I kind of get it. I kind of get the idea that you don't want boys maybe playing with dolls. I kind of get that idea, but I remember when I was younger, and if anybody knows this, let me know in the chat. There was a uh, music video, and I don't remember who the music video is by. I don't remember who the what the song is, but I think it was a music video where the little boy was always playing with dolls and always wanted to play with dolls. And the dad's always taking him away, telling him no, kind of telling him to, uh, kind of kind of telling him to uh, play with the action figures, and. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so to 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 really quickly get to it, so the, the 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 video is basically the boy playing with dolls the whole entire time, wanting to play with dolls, and I don't think it's the whole entire video, but this is what I remember from it. And the dad's always taking him away and giving him action figures and giving him action figures. And at towards the end of the video or halfway through the video, the little boy is shown him imagining uh, as 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 uh, as as he as he's older maybe in his 20s or teens or whatever right and the reason why the little boy always played with with dolls is because he was always managing imagining himself with those dolls and the dolls were like sexy supermodels into him uh and he played with the dolls at least it's insinuated uh in the video and then the dad is always <laughs> It's playing with the with the action figures, the boy dolls, right? And they show the dad with the men uh, at the end of the video. I don't remember the name of the song, if that's even a song or where I got this from. If anybody knows, let me know in the chat. Uh, but I don't remember. If you know, let me know. So I'm going to go back to the to the article. But at the end of the day, I don't think I've ever secluded uh, my daughter and told her no you can't go down certain aisles and I also when 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 <sighs> you know what when I used to watch my little brother I don't think I ever secluded him from any of the uh, aisles either so I don't know I, I don't know but either way this is basically saying that uh, let me go back to this one because this is a shorter article and it's a lot easier for me to get through so and it's not it's not it's not a bad this it is and it isn't okay because what this is saying is that the the here we go california has become and i'm just gonna read it california has become the first state to say large department stores must display products like toys and toothbrushes in gender neutral ways uh which is a win for lgbt advocates who say the pink and blue hues of traditional marketing methods pressure children to conform to gender stereotypes. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't really know if that's true. I mean, I guess if you think of it that way, then true. But my daughter plays with Hot Wheel cars as much as she plays with Barbies, uh, you know, and she's now playing with Beyblades. 
you know, she came home from school. I guess some of the friends at school have Beyblades and she plays with both boys and girls, uh, you know, at school. And I guess some of the boys are playing with Beyblades and she wants to battle Beyblades. So she came home asking for Beyblades and she's finally uh, started watching the original Beyblade TV series and she got into it. So, um, but anyways, I've never stopped her from going down an aisle and getting a Hot Wheels car or now a Beyblade. So anyways, the new law signed by Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom, how the heck did he, is he still in, in office in California? I don't know. Uh, does not outlaw traditional boys and girls sections at department stores. So I want to make sure that make make that sure that it does not outlaw the traditional boys and girls section. So the sections will still be there. Instead, it says large stores must also have a gender neutral section to display a reasonable selection of items, regardless of whether they have been traditionally marketed for either girls or for boys. That does not include clothes. The law only applies to toys and childcare items, which include hygiene and teething products. And it applies only to stores at with at least 500 employees or more. So small businesses are exempt from, uh, from this. So I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about this. I really, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I've never stopped my child from getting the toy they wanted. I mean, I get it. If I, I have a girl, so it's probably a little bit different than if I had a boy. Um, now, you know, when 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 I used to do things with my little brother, I used to get stuff from the from the quote unquote boy aisle or the blue aisles of the store but that's just because that was what i was into so i you know if i if i was going to uh if i was going to play with him that's what we were going to play with and you know what whatever toys which was either a nerf gun some hot wheels some uh rockets or something that you know i could basically hurt him with <laughs> anything that i could i could somehow some way find a way to hurt him with i don't know <laughs> i'm older so <laughs> anyways uh so it says here we need to stop stigmatizing what the acceptable for certain genders and just let kids be kids my hope is that this bill will encourage more businesses across california and the u.s to avoid reinforcing harmful outdated stereotypes what harmful and outdated stereo uh, well, I guess that there are because I'm talking about some stereotypes here, but at the end of the day, I, it doesn't really matter. Like I was talking about that music video at the beginning, right? If anybody knows that music video, put it in the comments. But like I was talking about that music video. Hey, if you're a kid, if you're a boy, if, if, if you don't care for your boys to play with dolls and your boy is suddenly playing with dolls, find out why. Find out why. For all you know, he may be fantasizing that he's with those dolls. He may be fantasizing that those dolls are his girlfriend. And in that case, if you don't have a problem, then let him play with dolls. Doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to turn gay or, you know, trans or whatever other gender there is out there. That's not what it necessarily means. It just means that, hey, he's imagining himself with those dolls or that those dolls are girls and they're his girlfriend that could be the that could be it but i'm not gonna say it is because there could be other things so again uh i i personally don't have a problem with this i really don't care it's not something that i care about uh as far as like you know changing the aisles and again it's not like they're actually changing the aisles i guess this is the way that they're advertising and that's something that target did a while back ago Anyways, if you go down their target aisles, they don't actually say boy or girls anymore, uh, but the aisles are still pink or blue. Uh, so you take that as you wish. If you have a problem with it, let me know in the comments. If you don't care, let me know in the comments. Like I said, it's probably different for me because I have a girl, um, so I don't think of those things, but then thinking of the way that I uh, used to buy things for my little brother and the way that we kind of, but again, we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot older than my little brother. So he basically played 
with whatever I wanted to get at the time. So if I wanted something, that's what we got and that's what he played with. It is what it is. So he didn't have a choice, um, you know, but when he even when he got into Beyblades, I went out and bought Beyblades and we played Beyblades together. And that seems like it's something that I'm not going to have to start doing again with my daughter because she's getting into Beyblades. So now I have to go buy Beyblades. So whenever we fight each other, I can actually beat her because I'm com competitive and I want to beat her. That's what it is. So you know what? I'm going to go buy me a good Beyblade uh, this weekend just so I can uh, compete with her. <laughs> Anyways, but if you guys know the song that I'm talking about at the beginning, let me know in the comments. I don't remember it, uh, but if you do and you know exactly what I'm saying, put it in the comments and let me know. If you care about this and if, if it matters to you, uh, you know, let me know why it matters to you and let me know your reasoning behind it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Also, leave your comments below. If you want to chat about any of these topics or any others, consider joining my live stream during my one hour pre-gaming news recap. I'm Eric the Inadequate, and until next time. <laughs>